Hi, welcome to this little tutorial about animations on assets. Example will be to open a chest. Um, so when a player interacts with it with E, uh, going to go through an example now on just animation of a chest. So when you click it, it opens up. The animation here closes the chest automatically, which is handy. Um, but because we use a door animation on it, you can walk through it because it thinks the door is open. So let me show you what I've done here. So I've taken the chest and I've added a door behavior to it. And I've also added a toggle behavior. Now with the door behavior, um, as you can see here, the message required is interact, which is the player just pressing E. Uh, but here you have opening animation and closing animations so you can choose an animation that it plays uh, when it opens and when it closes so in this case there's only an opening animation which is surprise um, that surprise the chest opens up uh, but then it automatically closes afterwards uh, what we've done here too is when a chest opens it sends a message chest one okay so uh, I'll go through that in a moment. Uh, but what's important here is a toggle behavior. Uh, you want to turn the animation off. So once the chest is opened, it will send the message chest one, uh, and then we will receive the message chest one off to turn off the animation. So we want the animation uh, to be, uh, the door behavior to be on automatically. Okay, so what happens here? Uh, when it opens, it sends a message chest one. Now we've put it over here onto this little, uh, just a, any asset will do. I like to use a little numpad here. Um, it has a speaker component. It's gonna listen for that message, chest one. So when that chest opens, it sends a message to this pad, chest one. Uh, when it receives it, it's gonna send a message, chest one off. So then it sends another message straight back to the chest. Um, and when you click it, it chest one off. So when the chest opens, sends a message, sends it back, now it's off. The only issue is that now the uh, chest is, you can walk through it. Uh, so what I've done here is I've copied the chest. Um, it has no behaviors or components. Uh, it's invisible, uh, but you can't walk through it. So what you do is you stack it on top of this chest. So when the player comes and opens it, uh, you can't walk through it because there's an invisible chest there that's solid. Uh, regardless of the door animation being played. Now when a player presses E, he can't open it again. Uh, if your actual chest is just an opened animation, it will always look like it's been opened in the past. I just used this particular chest in this example. I uh, hope this helps. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you.